As we continue to meet the needs of businesses and, and hear about your challenges, the Quad Cities Chamber ourselves uh, has pivoted very aggressively this year to meet the uh, increased demand. We are so gratified to hear about your resiliency and determination to, to fight through 2020 and be prepared for a better year ahead. Uh, we've helped hundreds of businesses, whether that be through uh, building connections with your clients and customers, whether it be advocating for assistance at the state or federal level, or guiding you through that uh, nuance and uh, ma uh, complicated matrix of, of filling out financial uh, information, our team stands ready to help you out. You know, I remain very bullish and excited about the Quad Cities future. Uh, we are still a very attractive place to do business, and we're seeing that. Uh, coming into this year, the Quad Cities was rated number seven in the Midwest, number one in the entire state of Iowa for our economic strength. Uh, we continue to be identified as the third most diversified economy in the entire country. We believe that those two stats uh, help us as we think about our position in, in, in life and in our country and our ability to rebound from this uh, pandemic. Uh, we are seeing much more activity this year with our economic development team. Uh, it looks a little bit different than in years past. We're seeing a lot of merger and acquisition activity, and it's really gratifying to see local investors and local companies buying and purchasing and investing in other local companies. The flip side of that sometimes is seeing investors from outside of our area or companies from outside of the area uh, buying companies, and that threatens the uh, stability of our market because those jobs could be moved elsewhere. So it's really good to see those local companies making those purchases. We're also seeing some consolidations in our market. We're seeing an increase of business ac uh, attraction activity, specifically in the manufacturing and food production industries. So we think that we have good times ahead based on our pipeline.